We are here at the Midwest LSA Expo 2020. Great to go to an air show here in this strange year we're having. A little cloudy today, but we've had two really pretty days here. you got a nice smile showing you've been enjoying yourself here as well, Daniela. I'm Dan Johnson speaking to Daniela Noel. Bring us up to speed for how you and your husband, Jeremy, have been involved with this airplane for quite a few years now, right? Yeah, absolutely. We, we started several years ago, uh, uh, actually, you know, as a customer. We, we purchased an aircraft and we fell in love with it. And uh, from there, uh, we became a dealer. And from there, it, it established into becoming the U.S. distributor. So we represent the factory here. Um, the aircraft does uh, come uh, from South Africa uh, to our location. Uh, we've actually even started uh, representing and building factory-built aircraft out of our facility. So it's yeah, that's one of the things they do allow in the system. So they can send you a not fully built airplane, and you can finish it. But you can also do kits, right? We've interviewed your uh, young friend there, Rachel Sinclair, who's uh, yes. she's been building a kit. So you can go both ways, correct? You can go both ways, yeah. We can build it uh, fully built, ready to fly for you, or you can purchase a kit, build it yourself. The Bush Cat is meant to be this backcountry Bush plane. Uh, it's a stall aircraft. Uh, you know, it has all that stall characteristic, short takeoff landing, low slow flying aircraft. It's been flying Big wonderfully tires. for many years, available tail dragger, nose wheel, all of that fun stuff. Uh, the manufacturer, whose name is Skyreach, went uh, through some rigorous flight testing last year of these new improvements to double check that these really truly fall within the ASTM standards. So some of those changes were adding BGs to the aircraft. Okay. So that's a, yeah, I see up here these little tiny little plastic yep, things. So Always amazes me how that does anything, I but know. they're quite effective, they aren't are they? They are very effective. That brought the stall speed down to the mid to low 30s. So they made okay. the tail a little bit larger. Uh, that has added more vertical and, and, and horizontal stability to ah, the aircraft. Okay. Um, and it also has adjusted some of the CG envelope that's required for ASTM as well. Um, so they've added a much better trim system. Um, we've added a what they call an anti-balance tab on the rudder. So anti-balance tab. That's what it, they, they it call sounds it. like you'd be out of balance, but it's not that, so is it? So it's providing more of that vertical stability. It kind of moves along with uh, the rudder. So as the rudder turns left, that tab turns left with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, they've also added on the ailerons, aileron fences, is that it makes the aircraft be able to uh, come back uh, to neutral position almost on its own ah, I see. without okay. added inputs. So we've uh, started representing uh, the Canardia Avionics ah. in the United States uh, where the U.S. distributor or represent North America with our partners in Canada. Sport okay. aircraft. Um, the Avionics are great for the experimental light sport market because they are lightweight, they're easy to install. The, the installation process is something I've never seen before. Is that right? Uh, utilizes Ethernet cables just to run a CAN bus system. All you have to do is run your power and ground and you're done. Uh, so they're amazing. Oh, and great. Our Bush, uh, this, this particular aircraft is owned by our, our customer, uh, Tom Bartmer, and he's also known as Bushcat Tom in the YouTube world. Um, he's got a lot of humor, and um, <laughs> we love him to death. He's done uh, quite a few videos that are very humorous. And you got, we don't need a price, but you've, you've still got good price point on this Absolutely, airplane, Absolutely, right? yeah, definitely. Uh, you, you know, you're, you're anywhere between eighty to, to 100000 You rarely cross over the 100000 Is that right? Even well-equipped and Even stuff. Even super well-equipped. So, okay. uh, so there you go, folks. Build, You've been looking yeah. for a bargain. Absolutely, this has been that yeah. for a long time now. Yeah, so Very much so. Now, I'm looking at the, I've always loved this. Uh, here's the armrest. I'm lifting up on it a little bit just so you can see that's how you get in and out. But that's got the throttle on the end of it. That's been a feature on the Bushcat for a long time. So yeah. people have seen that before. But if I move this up and out of the way like that, it maybe it, won't stay there. But you get the idea. Yeah, so it's, it's supposed to stay up. But um there we go. There we go. Okay, so now what I see here it looks like a very easy entry airplane, and the door comes open so far here where my hand is. Yeah. looks like a sit down, swing your legs in without chewing your knees. That's true. And we get very tall individuals, um, as, as tall as six foot seven we've had in there. Is that right? Well, we've um, got a lot of vertical in there, and correct. there's nothing right above the pilot's or the passenger's yep. head either, yeah. is there? Yeah, correct. And we've also had some, you know, larger on the, on the wider side individuals that have purchased the aircraft because of the fact that they fit so well in it. And what carrying capacity do you have otherwise for, I don't know, luggage or whatever you want to take along with you? We have about 91 pounds of baggage oh, capacity, wow. which is quite a lot. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Now, there was also some interesting uh, aerodynamic devices on the ailerons. The fancy word Skyreach uses is an aerodynamic compensator. 
Um, okay, that's a nice phrase. The tra that translates to me as uh, powered steering. What it does is it lightens up the controls for you. Ah, okay. Makes it easier to, yeah. you know. Cool. Geez, that's a lot of changes they've made, yeah. Daniela. And how many of these things are flying around the world, uh, approximately? We're, we're reaching 300. Okay. Um, in the U.S., we have 30 uh, uh, factory-built aircraft, and we are going to uh, reach about 24 kit builders. Really? Now. Tell me a little bit about how the airplane flies for people that maybe haven't seen another video. Talk to sure, me about I mean, its it, control it, system. It, and it's a center stick uh, with, as you mentioned earlier, this, the throttle on the on the armrest. So on each side. That's correct. Okay. Um, it's a, a cable pulley system uh, for most of the aircraft except for the flaps. Simple mechanical system with a detent and a, and a release then. That's correct. Okay. Um, Pretty easy. Um, so, again, the concept is keeping things simple, easy to maintain, easy to get at. So, um, the flying characteristics are uh, the short takeoff and landing type of um, characteristics, a low, slow flight, probably it cruises between 90 to 100 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, low stall speeds, as we mentioned earlier, uh, can really get out, get in, get in and out of any sort of. Uh, what is terrain. a takeoff roll on? Uh, let's say on grass, because that's that's kind of the bush theme. So if you're on grass, loaded normally, typical atmospheric day, nothing unusual. In other words, what kind of takeoff roll would you probably have? So so at maximum gross, the the statistics say less than 300 feet. It says something like 278. Okay, really, um, quite short. You then, know, yes. but uh, on average, we're off in 120 feet. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> reality is even better the than the numbers. Reality is uh, what, it's better than what's on paper. Powered by what engine, Daniela? The Rotex 912 ULS. Okay, ULS, okay. So these little things here. What is this wing covering for those that don't know this? Sure. It's called Trilam. It's actually manufactured uh, in Germany for professional racing yacht sales. Ah. So it is sail fabric, and uh, the reason we love it is because it's so durable. It can really withstand a lot of the UV, the water, all of those type of um, exposures, uh, and it's got a built-in ripstop material. Sure, well, a sailboat is constantly in the same kinds Absolutely. of difficult conditions, so Absolutely. if it works for them, why not an airplane? Correct. You know, there's really nothing you need to do or treat to, to this fabric. You don't need to paint it. You don't need to heat shrink it. You don't need nothing. That all it, contributes to that lighter weight keeping it, The manufacturer is always looking at ways of making improvements and taking in customer uh, feedback and everything else, and uh, we're super happy with the way it performs. Jeremy's been doing... A ton of demo flights here during the show. Excellent. I've Midwest, seen it up in the air quite a bit. So Midwest, not this uh, one, your other one. This yes, is your customer's airplane. Right. The Midwest LSA Expo has been wonderful this year. Uh, we've been keeping super busy in the booth. So we're super excited to be here and seeing you as usual. All right. It's been great. So tell us how we can uh, hound you for more information on your website how, or maybe place that order. Yeah, sure. You can always we'll put reach it up us. on the screen. For folks, Absolutely. So. We can always reach us at uh, bushcatusa.com. Very okay. simple. Uh, and uh, we are always happy to help you. And, uh, and where are you located? Oh, we're located right on the state line of Illinois and Wisconsin. Okay, uh, right near Oshkosh then. Absolutely. Or pretty near Oshkosh. two hours away from there. That's where our uh, U.S. distribution is uh, from. We do have some dealers around the country okay. uh, that folks that live further away from us can certainly uh, be helped with. Yeah, you're central to the Midwest, but you got somebody out in the West? We have uh, someone in, uh, in California. We have someone up in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and soon to be Florida as well. Okay, great. Well, that's covering the country real well. Absolutely. Okay, great. I've covered the bush cat in the past, and I'll look forward to a flight in this new and improved one sometime, Absolutely. but you can find out more about that and lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Daniela Nolan and myself here at Midwest LSA Expo 2020.